Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Yuppie Psycho, episode 11, I believe. <laughs> Ah, last time we managed to reach the first ending of the game, which was getting our coffee date with Kate in. Finally, it has been teased for so long. So, yeah, good on Brian to beat the witch and and finally get that coffee date. And another thing we saw was Hugo's downfall, quite literally, of a building after his little flashback scene with R. Corvo, the exorcist, or the voodoo magician, right? So, today, I have, I have prepared a little docket on what to do, or how this Let's Play is going to continue from here on onwards. Apparently, there is an entire alternate section of the second half of the game. It was pretty much as I surmised that we messed up with the party, or that uh, I messed up. I, I don't know if it's really that I didn't go to the security office or if there was something else, but apparently there's a whole alternative side to this game, which we are absolutely going to check out. But for that, I have to go back into the past for quite <laughs> quite a while. So yeah, basically before before the whole graveyard scene. You remember where we stole the Eye of the Owl and stuff like that? Okay, but before we do that, I thought about showing the other ending where we just leave out the door. Which is why we are right here at the end of the game again instead of somewhere else. Okay, another thing. I basically looked at a spoiler free walkthrough and even that only cursory to yeah to for one assert that there's another half of the game and the other thing was I wanted to find all the VHS tapes and all the familiar illustrations and I had no clue where to look for them so apparently both of those are completely pointless the familiar illustrations are just there for an achievement and the VHS tapes are also there for an achievement as well as your amusement and bonus story. I still want to get them, but I probably will not be able to get all of them in the same save file, but I, I will show the, the locations. So, since one of the tapes is actually right here in, in this little pond, in this underwater section, and we are obviously not able to return to, to Video Club Mysterio after we get it. I will collect it right now. I'll show you where it is, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know where it is myself either, but I know it's somewhere in this underwater section. Somewhere to the southeast, apparently. And yeah, after that we'll get the second, uh, the second ending from this side of the story. And after that we'll prob probably go back in time. So, Brian will once again jump in. Whew, that was close. I think it's down there on the right. I just passed it where the mines were. But there is no real source of air anywhere close by, so I hope I can get it without dying a horrible death. Wait. Oh, <laughs> right here, I mean. Should probably heal up beforehand. So, like this. Yes, there it is. There's a VHS tape titled 
Video Club Mysterio, Mom and Dad. Nice. Now I just have to manage finishing the game. And we should be all set, so... <laughs> I don't know, the, 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 the little room should be easy now that I know the, the passcode. Oh, wait, that is not correct. <laughs> the little room with the elevator should be easy now that I know the passcode. But, yeah, I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, yeah, uh, another thing. There is actually no way to take the, the FMA dagger with you into this encounter. Last time I thought I gave it to Synthra of my, or to Ray of my own volition, and she broke it. But if you just talk to her without showing her the dagger outright, she will, like, Brian will still say, oh yeah, I got the dagger, and she will still break it, so there is no way to take the dagger with you. Which is quite suspicious, I mean... <sighs> there's the thing, like... I'll probably talk a little bit more about it after we get the, the other cutscene right there at the end. But Ray was super suspicious, and... Uh, <laughs> I don't actually know if it's the right call to leave her in charge of the company. Like this? Oh. So yeah, I'll probably save that for my final thoughts, at least my final thoughts after this... After this route, so to speak. But I am quite a kind of dubious on on Ray's moral character right now. So yeah. Okay. See you after I beat the witch. Oh, nice! I actually tried to use the knife on her this time just to see what happens, and the knife actually breaks. Okay. But since uh, there is no way to take the dagger with you. <laughs> There's probably no way to, to ram the dagger into Ray's heart, so, or Domori's, so to speak. Anyways, see you, see you on the other side. Okay, ladies and gents, we are back here. So, let's just, without further ado, leave the company. And we get the achievement back home. There we are. Hmm, this ending is a little bit more somber. At least the scene with Kate was really hopeful, but this one is just... Hmm. And remember, the suburbs seem to be pretty bad in in this world. I mean, we know this world is also like our Earth with the same nations, but it, it works quite differently. So, hmm. But at least ac according to Champman, as well as a little bit like Brian himself, the, the suburbs were pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, see there? It, it gets to be more and more in disrepair the further he goes out. But Brian seems kind of happy and content with it. Okay. Oh, seems to be the same post credit scene with Hugo again. Okay, uh, I was I was hoping for a different post credit scene. Apparently, there is one if you if you do not steal the dagger from from Hugo, but that would be so much further in the back. I pr basically did that I think at the beginning of the second of the second half when I did my once over of of the company, right? So. There's, there's no way to do this for me in a reasonable manner. So, yeah. What I'll probably do is stick it to the end of the episode. I'll probably try and look it up 
online and stick it on, on, like tack it on at the end of the episode. So that we can all know what actually happens there. Hmm. Okay, but we got a little bonus ending cinematic. I hope that was worth it, but the other thing we got was Video Club Mysterio, Mom and Dad. Head. Huh. I don't know, I kind of had high hopes with with the with a title like this since since like Mr. Synthra and Mrs. Synthra, like the mom and dad, weren't really elaborated upon all that much. So I had high hopes that this one would actually fill in some blanks. Huh. But apparently not. Okay. Then... Let me just... <laughs> look up which save is actually the correct one. Because... Most of the time, I saved in Brian's office. <laughs> which is, like, yeah, not, not really all that helpful to locate where I'm, where I'm at in the world. Wait, this one's Dot Matrix's lair. And it should be after that, right? Oh, another another bonus scene that I never got to see and never will get to see is apparently if you do something different after you get the HR photo, like from the H from the HR department, and. Like, if you don't hand it into Synthra until you do some other stuff, you can apparently access another section of Synthranet where you can interact with Synthra, like, once again. Maybe I can, I can find it as well online and tack it on to the end of the episode, because for that to happen, I basically would have to replay the game from the start. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, this should be where the last time we saved before the graveyard. Let's look and see what we have. Do we already have the graveyard key? No, we do not. Hmm. And... We do have the Champman ID. And I think we already promoted him. Yeah, we did that before the Dot Matrix layer. We still have the... Have these? I, I kind of need to get my bearings, since I, I don't really know where I stopped with this. Wait, maybe if I look at my old videos, I can... I can find out where I saved, and after... after which point. Okay, apparently this is... Right after Sosa figured out that we were the hunter, and... Yeah, we beat the dot matrix, listened to the voice cassette tape, and became employee of the month. Yeah, and then Sosa found out that we were a hunter. Okay, so now what we should do is go here. Oh, not, not here. Yeah, Synthra isn't here yet. Again, Synthra has already disappeared. We didn't get to see the the... the like bonus scene there but we should go in there with our Corvo's card and try and find like evil synthra again oh and get the code off of her Last time it was like 5277, I believe. Oh, there she is. Hello. Yeah, 5277. Oh, and she isn't going to let me out. 
Apparently, there is supposedly a little hidden area in here, but I do not know where it is. Because apparently you can follow like Ray, Ray's ghost that is somewhere here to a little hidden space, but I absolutely do not know where it is. Okay, apparently it's somewhere on the bottom left. Where's the entrance again? There's the entrance. Can I walk over that? Yes, I can. Like here, down... Oh, hello, Synthra, once again. Ah, here! Hello! Hmm, okay. Seems to be like more of a room. There's actually somewhere I can go here. Okay. Apparently we need to find Ray in this area. Wait, is this poison mist again? The guide said this is like looking for a needle in a haystack. And apparently this area is quite huge. No, that's... that's evil Synthra. Oh, there is something here. Hello. It's a statue of a man with horns. He looks like a demon. Oh, but that's apparently it. Oh, at the girl's grave. Okay. That was another message we didn't see before. Ah, hello! Do you look like the devil, Brian? Dot dot dot. Oh god, what is this? Hey, don't push me, we'll fall! Hey, excuse me, could you let me through? I want to, I'd like to, but I can't break the line. Oh no, this ain't good. And I can't really talk to them anymore. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really endear me to you, Ray. And there's Mr. Devil again. Why should I choose you? Huh? Oh, well, because, um... Next. Choose. What does he mean by choose? But the, like, Ray was standing behind him and, and watching all this as a row of Bryans get massacred. <sighs> this is really confusing. I, I still feel we need more information, but Ray is becoming more and more sus with each moment. And there was that psychotic laughter last time after, after like, Hugo punched us and she fired him. <sighs> Right now I feel like the only, the only like pure people in this, uh, like from the old guard were like Domori herself. She was just innocent and, and got tricked by the serpent. And maybe the Synthra robot, like not Ray, but, but the Synthra robot that we met at Synthranet. There was also that curious case that I pointed out like via text because I only noticed it during editing of like Synthra and Ray switching like nameplates during dialogue quite often last episode. So, huh. I, I kind of get the feeling that the two of them were separate entities after all, or like the, that the Synthra bot was 
maybe ray without memories like just just like a, a blank copy that hadn't been corrupted by the world because apparently her her parents were also not that great of the people i mean they they basically bought a slave girl and locked her up in a room as a company good luck charm so huh anyways with those little story tidbits out of the way Let's get on cracking with collecting the illustrations and the the tapes. One illustration should be right here. The wolf. Then two others are actually in a place we haven't visited in quite some time. Namely, the archives. You see, there's this little shelf here called BX. Where have we heard this, this letter combination before? BX. There's a piece of old paper here. And we got the bat. And actually, the next piece of paper is in this very room. We just need to move all these cabinets back. I, I don't know if I actually can without killing myself. Yes, I can. Because here is a crack in the wall. And remember how there was a bloody spider uh, like painted on the wall upstairs there? Here's the spider paper. And... In a moment, we will get the, the last paper that we got during the original playthrough anyways, because you can't really miss it. It is, of course, next to Arkovo's office. So let's just head to the elevator. And head to Arkovo's office. That should be, yes, it is the final illustration, and I got the familiar achievement. As I said, apparently they are 100% useless and don't really achieve anything, which is some somewhat sad. Oh, we need a pencil here. Ouch. And the Arkovo card. And with that, we completed all familiar illustrations and unlocked the graveyard yet again.